Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Sky 35. Got this in the mail uh, over the weekend. Had to think about what day it is. Uh, today is uh, Monday the 23rd. Let's open up and see what I got. Hello and welcome back. Like I said, the rookie card explosion box. Uh, this is a limited batch, volume 23. I believe this is like the fourth one I've gotten. Now, he had to go up in price a little bit on this one, which is understandable. Uh, cards are just wax. It's just getting crazy. Uh, I was just looking at quote unquote some Black Friday for the month of November sales on Blowout. Uh, I saw a couple of deals. Uh, I'm just happy to say that baseball box prices are not as crazy as some other sports. That's that's what they. So I'm happy with the baseball card community. Uh, basketball and football is nuts. Looks like I got a uh, addition to. I'm trying to get some of these peanuts out of there. Because they want to clean everything. It is a healthy stack. I saw the preview video. Man, there's more in here than usual. So, definitely getting your money's worth. Got one of the new update products, which he probably could have left out. But he said he likes to give out some new stuff. I'm not going to go over the packing list. Uh, so it looks like I got a 2019 Hobby Exclusive Update Series trading card. So I think that's one of the bonus packs. Uh, 93 tops where we're going to be looking for the Jeter. Uh, tops 2014 Update. Kobe, maybe? Not, uh, not Kobe. <laughs> Chris Bryant? Not Kobe. Not the Black Mamba, but, you know, just Chris Bryant. Uh, 2000 tops, 2016 tops, 2018 high number, which I believe is uh, Juan Soto, 2018 Series 1. And this is a big boy pack right here. I was just looking at these prices for update. Holy cow for 2018. <laughs> Man, you better. I thank you, Fulmerton, for putting that in. Uh, hopefully, you got that, purchased that before the prices got crazy on that. 2020 Bowman, 2020 Chrome. 2020 update which you know he it's kind of a filler pack but it's got some great short prints in it, including Pete Alonzo that I really want uh, 2020 series one and I'd rather get it this way because I would have to almost pay for the box just to get the short print off of eBay right now which is kind of crazy even though I just watched a card just looked at a card that was $900 and the dealer just cut it or almost a thousand I take that back and cut it down to 600 just made an offer of 600 out to people watching so <laughs> that is a 40 percent decrease right there uh almost low ball because that's I I put it on there just to watch the curious because it just wait them out and then tops 2020 baseball update and it is a premium card. I can't remember which short print is. I almost want to say it's the uh, Father's Day. Which, man, that that card is stupidly priced. Uh, the Mother's Day I got pretty at a pretty good deal. But Father's Day is just dumb. Uh, 2020 opening day. We'll start with that one.
Kuna, Dasby Swanson, Trey Turner. Don't really matter. Oh, Conforto. Nice. Bueller. Josh Bell. And then the uh, spring has sprung. All right, this is a very cool insert. Clayton Kershaw. I like that insert insert this year for opening day. Opening day is just a fun, a fun thing, and that's one of the. They need to stop with the inserts and make that uh, that in big league. Just make that you know, basic stuff. Don't make well keep the inserts, but don't do short prints. So that way it's on the shelves. Uh, it's just stupid that that gets bought off the shelves. Twenty twenty baseball update series. Just so people can have a fun rip. Inserts like that is good enough for that type of... When you put Lou Bob and uh, Pete Alonzo short print stuff like that in there, it just makes it a highly collectible then. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. Uh, Astidos, Aquino rookie debut. And I guess the debut cards are a little, doing a little bit better this year because there's not much in this product. David Ortiz, Jade Gork, uh, Guy Erica. And people better watch out because everybody thinks that Series 1 is going to be loaded. Uh, you just better be careful and see what they're going to hold back for Series 2. And also, uh, just because they played some this year doesn't mean that they're going to be in Series 1 next year. They, they might not even start out on the roster next year. Depends on how many games they play and all that stuff. Mookie Betts, Nestor Cortez, Hecka Villa. Oh, got a rainbow of Alex Bregman. Not terrible. Even though he did cheat, but, you know, it would have been nice to see them play the Dodgers and let the Dodgers win so everybody just calm down and get over it. Clayton Kershaw, league lead, or active leader. Rich Hill. Oh, Eric Davis. See, and this is the type of thing that drives me crazy. You look at that at first, you're like, oh, that's a Legends short print. It's not. Home Run Derby. Um, man, but that would have been awesome uh, short print in that, in Joe Kelly. I think they could have done a little bit better with the inserts. I think they just kind of gave up, just threw cards in there. 2020 Series 1. Uh, Boa right now actually has this the almost looks like it's norm almost SRP uh, Not too too bad series two you can get really good price and that's got the Lou Bob in it So if you're thinking of that chrome is still stupid, but Well not stupid, but it's over $200 for a hobby box, but not not this guy AJ Puck, rookie card. Arcatrea. Oh, Frankie Lindor. Jorge Raffaro. Liam Hendricks. Celebration cards. I remember a few years ago, the celebration cards were the short prints. Houston Astros team card. Nationals team card. Sammy Sosa. Decades. And this this has been like a fun insert this year. Uh, I saw a lot of sport lots and they seem to go pretty quick. Those cards there. Hector Neris and Benatendi who's been pretty been a let down. Great defensively, offensively. Not do well. Tops Chrome. One of my favorite products. If I could find it again, reasonably priced, I'll buy another box of it. J.D. Martinez, 
Austin Nola, Trey Turner. Oh, Nico Horner, 85 rookie. I don't see any print runs in it or anything like that, which seems to be pretty prevalent in these 85 cards. So, Nico Horner, rookie card, not bad. Bowman, 2020. Not the greatest product for rookie cards. Looking for first cards. Kevin Newman. Oh, a Boba Shett rookie. We'll take that. Any any Boba Shett rookie. Oh, Kyle Lewis rookie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Matthew Lugo. I like these uh, spanning the globe chromes. Oh, Bobby Witt. It's paper, but it's first Bowman. I know he's high up on the 100 lists. And my chromes, Logan Davison, prospect card. Kebron Hayes, who's been a prospect for, I don't know how long. He, is he ever, ever going to make the he, I mean, he might have started as a youngster in the, in the minors, but it just seems like he's been a prospect forever. And I could be very wrong, but it just feels that way. Because I, I remember when he f his first card, man, they were so high on him. And then that just feels like he's been there forever. <laughs> That's a prospect. Max Muncy, Matt Chapman. So not bad for just some cards. And uh, I'm going to hold off on that update. Uh, we'll do uh, Series 1, 2018. Got to pick up pace a little bit. Running my mouth a little too much. Todd Frazier, Tyler Flowers, Miguel Sano, Zach Granite, rookie, not the rookie we're looking for. A Hunter Pence Rainbow. Herrera. Edwin Diaz. Heritage High Number. I'm kind of wait for that one too. Series one. 2016. CC. Oh, Mets card. Oh, Ken Griffey. Nice. Edgar Martinez. Jake, Jake Outer Easy Future Star. I don't even think I hit a rookie in that one. Uh, let's do uh, Tops 2014 update. See Jake Cron on the back. That might be his rookie card. Rajay Davis, Drew Stubbs. Chase Whitley, rookie. Josh Tomlin. We got a gold of Cody Allen. Weren't, weren't. John Singleton. I remember, man, he was crushing the ball, man. And then he just went away. Uh, and then, yep, I said CJ Cron. I told, I think that was his rookie. Uh, let's see. We'll wait for the 93. See how badly stuck together they are. Uh, let's do... The uh, 2019 Hobby Exclusive Update Series trading card. Basically the silver pack for that year. Man, I, I hope I can get my hands on some holiday stuff this year. It, it's probably not going to happen, but Brendan Rogers rookie. Not terrible. Oh, Acuna. Not a rookie, but not a bad card to have. I guess his prices are falling down just a little bit, but you know, when they go rock skyrocket, they got to come down a little bit. Chris Paddock, rookie, not bad. 
and I carry wood. We'll do the 2018 high number. I put the camera over here so you can see me, and uh, if I got anything exciting, you can see my expressions, but we haven't hit anything exciting. It's a fun rip. A fun rip. I like the uh, the Verity, uh, various cards, PJ Conlon, who hasn't really panned out. Uh, Ryan Flaherty, Brandon Drury, Aaron Judge, Trace Thompson, Richard Blair, uh, home homegrown talent from Virginia, Jeffries. All right, update. We could hit some bingies here. Shane Green, J. Hap. I, I, I've always liked that picture. I I like those action ones like Marcelo Zuna. They're pretty cool. Dozier. I know some people want to see headers heading, but some of those fielding ones are pretty cool. Jeter card. Joey Wendell, rookie card. And a Nolan Arenado All Star. So we getting skunked, but it's all going to change on this pack right here. I can feel it. Can't you? Can't you feel it? This is the pack. This is the pack. Here we go, boys. And my gold card right on top is Damon Easley. Bob Tewksbury. Xavier Hernandez. Chris James. Raphael Belliard. Ron Guzman. Eric Fox. Brett Butler. Jim Bollinger. Pete O'Brien. Lenny Harris. Wow. <laughs> uh, I didn't give you a Hall of Famer out of that or uh, will be Hall of Famer. All right. So, I mean, I, I even had stands out. I had covers. I, boy, that would hurt. Uh, not going to lie. Uh, fun rip. I mean, I love it. We'd go over some of the highlights. Chris Paddock. Brendan Rogers rookie, Bobby Witt first card can't can't sneeze on that. Matthew Lugo, uh, spanning the globe. Kyle Lewis rookie, Bo Bichette rookie, Nico Horner rookie, AJ Puck, Alex Bregman, and uh, Aristides Aquino. I mean, so I didn't get skunk skunk. Uh, you know, no short prints, no real numbered cards or. Anything like that, no hits, uh, which not really expecting that. Uh, but it was fun. It, I this is my one time where I know I get to rip packs, and uh, so just for that, it's well worth it. And uh, just keep pumping them out. I mean, the pack selection was top notch. Can't complain about that. You know, you win some, lose some, and just continue on. So until next time. See ya!